welcome everyone. My name is Rebecca Javor. I'm a psychologist and a lecturer from the University of Pécs, Hungary. Um, and I wanted to present you our work, our research on social worker identity as a cornerstone of professionalism. But first of all, we should define what professional identity is. Um, well, basically, it's our professional self-concept by which we define ourselves in specialized skill and education-based occupations with uh, all its norms, values, attitudes, and so on. Um, and according to this, we can say that, um, well, social work is a practice-based profession and an academic discipline that promotes social development, social cohesion, and the empowerment and liberation of people. But this, um, this definition can only be meaningful when social workers actively commit to its values and vision. Why are we studying this? Because social workers' professional, professional identity is a really uh, under-researched area in Hungary. Well, the reason for this is that in its view, social work is a really, really complex profession with many, many roles in it, like the role of the counselor, the role of the, the, the care manager, the, the social control agent and so on. But on the other hand, it has its own uh, drawbacks like mental health problems, serious uh, burnout, and low self-esteem, not just for professionals, but for social worker students also. And this is why we're saying that already during um, social work education, students can be taught skills, abilities, and attitudes um, other than professional knowledge that will help first of all the students, then later the professionals in their work but on the other hand, in the development of their professional identity and well, how to maintain basically mental health. And with all these skills and abilities and attitudes, uh, they will be, well, students, first of all, and then professionals, they will be much more successful and satisfied um, in their professional life. Um, and with this higher success and satisfaction, they can also reach commitment, which is one of the most important predictors of workplace behaviors, especially job and career abandonment. So this is why we're, we're saying that we should add professional identity development into the curriculum. So as I said, we, try to study professional identity. And one of the best ways to, um, to study not just professional identity, but identity, identity development in general is the ISA-IPSOS flexible framework software. Um, well, it's gonna be long if I try to explain this method, so if you want to understand the method in general, see the work of Erskine and Ellis for our specific tool based on this, this method. Um, well, you will be able to check our book chapter in the book. Let me just check the title, Professional Identity in the Caring Professions, Meaning, Measurement and Mastery, which is gonna be published at the end of this, this year, December. Um, so about our study, our exact study, um, 57 Hungarian social workers participated in our study in which we wanted to examine, first of all, the actual state of their professional identity, the development of their professional identity, uh, and their attitudes toward their job and toward some external entities. And so now I'm gonna share you, I'm gonna show you our results. Uh, first of all, we wanted to examine their actual 
state of identity, which can be defined by two dimensions, self-evaluation and identity diffusion. And by these two dimensions, we can distinguish between nine possible identity states. Uh, and we can see that in our sample, Hungarian social workers um, show high self-evaluation, but with foreclosed defensive marks, what we can call the threatened identity. And this threatened identity will may make them wounded healers, wounded helpers, by which we mean that uh, some initial vulnerable negative state will evolve into a more positive state. So uh, basically social workers as experts of experience who, who have worked through their own, um, own traumas know how to, how to maintain hope, how to understand others, how to understand the person in need and how to help uh, the person in need. Um, also, when we compare their past self, past identity, current identity, and future identity, we can see a clear development uh, in ego involvement and self-evaluation. And even if there is, there is a negative cliff between ego involvement in the past and the, and the present, but this indicates um, a greater hope in future self. So this shows basically the faith in future. Our third result shows the, oh my God, what happened? So our third result shows the importance of external entities and their evaluation, like the closest colleagues or boss, uh, mean the future, mean the boss, uh, me in the past, me now, uh, the government and so on. So these, the, these entities and the evaluation of these entities. Uh, and this, this figure shows here that even if the ego involvement is not high, just moderate, but if it's connected to a low um, evaluation, mainly of the government and the, the nation, Hungarians in general, so the social environment, then it can be a serious source of conflict. And probably you will understand this better if I show you our last result. Um, when we asked our participants to, um, to define what they, what attitudes they think a social worker need, um, and basically they said, so they favored um, they, they, they favored working in this interpersonal domain to managing societal, societal challenges, although the domestic training lays much more emphasis on societal issues, but neglecting the need for uh, counseling skills. So basically uh, this basically they think that the the commitment to professional values is risky in a non-supportive environment, what we can see in our third result from the government, from the state and from the whole society in Hungary. And with also according to all these these results and the importance of um, of professional identity, basically we can say that the professional identity development and the conflicted areas call for more targeted approaches in professional education programs, not just for graduate students but for undergraduates also, and for those in continuing uh, professional development and not just so the, the the main information is not just to to include these professional identity development courses in the curriculum but to match the professional identity to the view 
of social work in general and and to the view of the work of social workers basically uh, here you can see the reference to the book to a book chapter what i mentioned before and thank you for your attention um, if you have any questions i'm gonna go back to the first slide here you can see my email address feel free to contact me anytime with any kind of question. Thank you. Can we have already questions now? Sorry? Yes, ma'am, please ask, ma'am. Yeah, so thank you for the presentation. Sure, sure. So, so um, it was very interesting. So I was wondering, because we face the same problem in France, because I'm from France, so uh, regarding the profession, like all this public profession, mm -hmm. which are we with value, high value, as you were saying, like a demonic value, like you understand a, a demonic value? Yes, yes. Yeah. So, um, we, I was wondering if now maybe we have to distinct the word like profession and vocation. Because like for teacher, even for caregivers, even for nurse, we have a lot of people who are burnout out because they came with high hedonic value yeah. and now the job is just not at all the same is less and less caring of people but just like doing more and more beds or like you know uh -huh. so uh, uh -huh. so i was wondering like because we switch of words like profession is there like kind of a link with like or difference with vocation people came with vocation you know understand vocation like dedicated to so I was wondering if uh, you find this thing that's according the changes in profession, like in France, teachers, they come, they used to come because they want to give care to give like to, to grow up kids. But now yes. some of them just come because they got vacation for two months. They got just, you know, public salary, stable jobs. So there's no this value of vocation anymore. So I was wondering if you find out that also in Hungary. And at the opposite, when you got people dedicated, they feel the suffer now. Um, well, th this will be a long talk, <laughs> long discussion. So we can talk about this uh, later. But yeah, it's, it, it's the, the, the same we can see here. So if, even if we, well, I'm a psychologist, but I can see that social workers, even if they, um, how to say it, even if they feel that this work is, they, they should do what they should do, and they love this, and um, they have all, all the, all, uh, another thing, even if we taught them all the skills, all the knowledges, abilities, everything, even personal, personal, come on, professional identity, then they won't get the acceptance from the, you know, from the from the whole environment, from other professions, yeah. even not from the government. So this is this well, basically, this is the main problem, the main conflict, and not just in social work, in Hungary, no. but with any field which. In, 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 in every social field, basically. So, work, uh, yeah. sorry, emotional work. Well, yes, yes, yes. As far as you are in charge of someone else and caring about someone else, is uh, all this kind of work. Yes, yeah. in suffering. Yes. Exactly, exactly. Yes, and, and it's a shame. Unfortunately, we we don't give the focus and the attention what they should accept because of their work. Yes, ma'am. Uh, like totally agree to the points of you both, ma'am. And uh, like uh, we also th thank you for uh, uh, like uh, for such a healthy interaction in our uh, conference, ma'am, from our side too. For both of you. <laughs>